After I designed my first ever crawfish lure and made the 3D printed mold, I thought you guys might want to see how I made this. So here I am showing you guys step by step how I did this in Fusion 360. Stay tuned. Throughout this video, I'm not going to call the body parts the scientific way. I will just call them whatever. So here we start with the head. I draw a reference line to indicate how long the head should be. And then I insert a canvas, which is a crawfish picture. So I can draw the line, shape the body based on this picture. After I align the head portion and the reference line, I start to make a pipe form out of this line. Here I also make it left and right symmetrical. There's no need for top bottom symmetrical here. Now here comes the fun part. I just drag the control point to match the picture. Don't worry about making the mistakes because if you don't like it, you can always undo. For the side profile, I did not go with the original design where the tip of the head is laying down on the flat surface. But if you look at the real crawfish picture, you will see the tip of the head is actually coming off from that flat surface. That's why I made this change. Now it's time to add the eyes and I use the sphere uh, and also rely on the canvas picture to locate where the eyes are. Here I'm creating the grooves on the head portion. Um, there are many different ways to do this but here I choose to uh, use a tool to cut the head into pieces and between the pieces there's a jointing line and I cut the chamfers uh, along those lines to create the grooves I did this on one side and used the mirror to create the other side. Now I'm creating the segments at the abdomen portion or the lobster tail portion using torus. So the torus is just a donut. I make the first one, adjust it to the appropriate size, and then I make four copies out of the first one, and then scale them down and move them down to the appropriate location. After the lobster tail, I move on to the tail fin portion. First I create the outline and then I extrude them into three different levels. One trick I use here is uh, if the parts are symmetrical, I will just create one side and then copy to the other side. Mm -hmm. 
Now I'm creating the site profile for the tail fin. Again, I'm drawing the outline first and then extrude at different levels. After this is all done, I add the fillet to the edges. Here is the main body of the crawfish. Now the pinchers. So I draw several lines as the backbone for the pinchers. And then I make pipe form from those lines and just basically sculpt those lines into the shape I like. Now the final part, legs. You know the drill here. Lines, pipe forms, all the good stuff. These legs may not come out well from the open pore, but I still put them in. Hope you enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time. Peace.